listen, I don't know who this is for, but you got people around you who really wished and hoped that you didn't find out who you are, that you are called and appointed for such a time as this. They did not want you to realize that there was something completely different about you. So they made it look like you were crazy, weird, out of line, just not the person that people should be looking to. So a lot of you guys are dealing with people who are speaking negatively behind your back or speaking negatively right in your face. Some of them, they will tell you, girl, you crazy. You know, they don't be playing. Some of them don't be playing. They be for real. Girl, you crazy. Girl, you tripping, you know. But why? Why Why would they do this? Because when you know who you are, you know how to move differently. You know that you have a certain potential to change your whole life around. To move around differently. That you would not even want to be around them or even consider them as associates. <laughs> not even a family member, a, a friend. Somebody that you wouldn't even want to collaborate with, not even speak to or be in the same room with. Because those are the type of people that you know carry negativity with them. Their whole mindset is to get you to realize that you ain't, they want you to think that you're nothing or that you're just simple. They want you to think simple minded. So when you begin to think out of the box, they be like, girl, you can't, girl, don't, don't do that. Mm -mm. Girl, that ain't for you. They're going to try to talk down, talk you or talk you down from doing what you are wanting to do. But they know that that is a part of something that you are called to do. They know that it is something that is part of your very essence that you're supposed to be doing it. Because a lot of you guys are royal. You know what I'm saying? You're royal priesthood. You were not meant to be mediocre. Do you hear me? And that's where they want you to stand. They want you to stay. And a lot of these people are people that have known you all your life. Do you hear me? These are people that know that you used to be, you know, just a little girl or a little boy that just didn't really know. what. They want you to stay in that mindset of you not knowing who you are. So you won't move and elevate. But I'm here to tell you, many of you guys have seen through these people. And those of you who have and who have moved accordingly. You are being risen. You are leveling up. You're learning to know who you are. And see, those people will try to make you think you're crazy, that you shouldn't be doing it, or that you should be doing something different, like this is not what you're supposed to be doing. A lot of them think that because you're moving differently and that you know you woke up, hmm, simply because you woke up, they want you to go back to sleep. They don't want you to recognize that you are a divine being. That you are something different and you're not to be F with. Because if you find that out, they if you find that out, baby, they messed up. They know that there's a chance that you will be better than them because it was meant to be that way. Some people have higher callings than others. I mean, come on, get over it. But see, it's not that you are stepping into a higher calling to just, you know, kind of tell them that, listen, I, 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 I'm I, better than you. You know what I'm saying? No, that, that ain't you. That ain't even in your character. But that's what they think, that you're going to get too big, that you're going to get people going to know you. People are going to come to you and like you more than them, thinking that you're going to be thinking that you're better than them. But that ain't even in your character. And see, the reason that they carry this narrative of not wanting you to be more than what you are is because they want that for themselves. You hear me? It's crazy, but it's true. You see this every day. People at the job, they don't want you to have a, a raise before them. They don't want you to get that higher position than them before them, you know, because they know that they're in competition. These are people that are in competition with almost everybody around them. I mean, it's not just you that they're in competition with. They're in competition with a lot of people. You have to understand that their mindset is that they have to be the best. When you all, you don't even have to try nothing. Try what? Like, for what? You was already built to do this. This is what you were fashioned for. And so when they send these attacks, many of them will send attacks. Do you hear me? Because, I mean, that's what people on these days. They be all on these apps trying to find out what to do. How can they How can they use some type of method to get you to, to, to bag off, to, to leave, to, to, to not be there? Okay? They do this a lot, not just to you. Like I said, it's, just, it's to more people than you. It's more than just you. Okay? Because these are the type of people that are just... Their mind is just working a thousand miles per hour trying to think about how they can be the best.
because they're competing. But you see, you don't have to compete with nobody. You don't have to compete with nobody. They don't want you to wake up. They want you to stay in a place where you just like, I, I'm just living life. I'm just going to go to school and just work this nine to five every single day and live a boring life. They don't want you to step out because they know that you're going to see something different in yourself. And people will see things differently in yourself and tell you about yourself, baby. It's something about you. It's something about you. I see something different about you. What is that? People will tell you that they don't want you to find that out. So they try to keep you secluded. They want to keep you in a place where you're not going nowhere. This is why a lot of you guys may have been feeling lethargic. You have been feeling sloppy down, just, you know, depressed, sad, because these people don't want you to wake up. These are the type of people that want to keep you in the sunken place. Y'all know about the sunken place. Get out that movie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that one. They want you to stay in that place because then they can they can continue to move like the other people in the movie. Like they they living their best life. They feeling youthful, feeling good because they don't have to compete with you because you you know you sleep or whatever. But that ain't the case. I'm telling y'all, the Most High has a different plan for your life. You have a different place in this world where you're not supposed to be sloppy, feeling lethargic, feeling tired, depressed. That ain't your portion. That ain't your portion. You got to believe that and know that because, baby, God got something in store for you. And the shift is real. You got to understand these folks that have been attacking you and doing these things against you, wanting you to think that you're nothing. Wanting other people. I mean, talking about talking to look, girl, did you know that she was like this? Did you know that the, girl, they want people to think that they whispering behind your back, not knowing that you already know you already know the deal. You know what's going on. You know what happens in their mind. You know, you know, we can tell. You know, people that are connected, we, we already be knowing. Y'all know we be knowing, right? Right? You type in the comments, I know. I know. Type that in the comments. They don't want you to know, but trust and believe that the Most High God is sending you to the place where you're supposed to be. You're not going to be stuck or stagnant. This is not your portion. You were never meant to be stagnant. You were never meant to be depressed. Your life was meant to simply be the best without even trying. But see, they don't want you to know that. That's the reason why they don't want you to know. Because you don't have to try. They want you to have to try. So that's why they send all this negativity to try to make you feel so lethargic, so tired, so depressed. They want you to think, see, do, have you ever talked to somebody and they like, girl, did you like, you know, every time they talk to you, they, they bring up something you went through that was negative. How you doing since this happened? Oh, girl, you all right. Like, baby, we is OK. Don't worry about us. Don't worry about all that. You know, they're going to always try to bring up the negative things to put you back in that place in that sunken place so you can think about it and see a lot of you guys in your minds they've been trying to work against you and that's how they do it with the talk that small talk that small talk and them whispers they be doing you know what i'm saying trying to use word curses like if i talk about them and i get other people to talk about them it's gonna be true but that ain't the case just because they talking to other people about you don't mean it's true they they done told so many lies, they're gonna start to believe the lies themselves. But they're gonna look back and be so amazed. Do you hear me? The most high God is shifting your life. He's doing some things in your life that people ain't gonna understand. When you look, when you look, when they look at you, they're gonna see God in you. They're gonna see that you are a God-fearing person, that you are woke, and that you actually have a calling on your life. They'll understand that. They'll understand that. But those that don't, we ain't even gonna be, we ain't even gonna worry about it. We ain't gonna worry about it. <laughs> We're not gonna worry about all that. Forget them. They gonna elf around and find out though. You best believe. Big period. 